Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Silver Beanie and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to have a quick look at how to reset your starter for a specific nature or even gender. And before you get to this point where you can actually choose your starter, there is a brief 5, 10 max minute introduction where you're introduced to Clavel and Nimona. And then following that, you're pretty much free to choose your starter and have a little roam around. It's a lot of fun. But there are a few things to do before that. Hey guys, Editing Silver here. I just wanted to include one more thing that I forgot to mention during the video. I wanted to point out that the starters are in fact shiny locked. So if at any point you intend to shiny hunt the starters, you will have to do it at a later stage via breeding. Fortunately, you cannot restart at the beginning of the game. I wanted to mention it in the video, completely forgot till now. So here it is. Okay, on with the video. Right at the start of the game, when you're in your bedroom, you actually can access the menu almost straight away. As soon as you do, change that text speed to fast. It's going to make a huge difference as there's quite a lot of text between the start and getting to this point. So change that to fast, it'll make a big difference. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually change autosave to off. By default, autosave is on and as soon as you get access to the menu, you want to change that off. You will get a little notification as soon as you start because it does appear autosave at the top. But turn that off, you don't want it and it's much easier because you're actually going to need the save in front of the starters here to reset for that specific nature or gender. And the last one really only saves you about two seconds. So it might not be as worth, but if you're not a fan of seeing the same cutscenes over and over again, you can turn cutscenes to on. So you skip the cutscenes rather than actually watch them. Now, do bear in mind the only cutscene that's actually going to be skipped when you select your starter is the brief moment after you've chosen your starter. There's like a little brief interaction where it plays with you and sort of climbs on your shoulder and all that kind of stuff. That cutscene is skipped but it then just turns to black and you literally only save like one or two seconds. So not super worth it. But if you want that extra second or two, you can turn that on. And then after that, you're ready to go. You can literally save directly in front of the starter that you are after. So if you are after Quaxley, you can literally save directly in front. Once you've saved in front of the starter, you're literally just going to spam A until you get to the point where you actually get to the nickname screen. This is where you're going to be able to tell what gender your Quaxley is. As you can see right there at the top, what is Quaxley gender's nickname? That is the gender that will tell you whether it is a male or a female. Now, bear in mind, you are likely to get a male 87.5% of the time versus a female, which is 12.5% chance. So if you are after a female starter, you may end up having to do a few resets till you get it. But like I said, you can save right in front of the starter and just keep resetting your game until you see it right there pop up with the female or male icon, depending on when you're after. Once you pick your starter Pokemon, Nimona will have a little chat to you. She'll then run off with the other starter Pokemon to the type that's weak against you. So just a little heads up if that influences your idea. But then from there, as soon as you get access and you can run around, this is when you are free to check the nature of your starter. You simply just hit the X button on your menu. It brings up this beautiful menu icon here. You'll hit left, go over to your starter. You will just hit the usual summary. Head over left once. Bam, there it is, right at the top. This is a gentle nature Quaxley. Now, if you go one left from the screen, you can actually see which stat gets increased and which stat gets decreased. In this case, my special defense is going up versus my defense, which is going down. Now, depending on the style you choose and depending on whether you plan to get them to competitive or not, that may influence which nature you choose. Now, for Sprigatito, you typically want to go with a physical offensive nature or a speedy nature. Um, so Adam or Jolly is usually the best case scenario. For Fue Coco, he's a much more special attacker, so you tend to want to go more modest or maybe calm to increase his special defense and lower his physical attack. And then for Quaxley here, much like Sprigatito, you go Adamant or maybe Jolly. So just a couple ideas. Do not have to use any of those. Now bear in mind as well that you can actually get mints. Mints are in, back in the game. You don't get mints to a little bit later. There is a dedicated store that sells all the mints, so there's no more running around trying to find, find specific ones. Um, although you can find them in the wild, you can also purchase them. But bear in mind, they cost 20,000 coins each. So if you, further down the road, you can change that nature. So if I was you, just prioritize getting the gender that you want. You can change the nature at a later date. But unless you want to start your game with that right competitive nature from the get-go, that's your, that's your only option. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out in some way. If it did, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing if you are new. 
And be sure to let me know in the comments down below which starter you plan on picking for your Paldean adventure. And if you'd like to see me play this game, I'm actually going to be live on my Twitch stream, possibly right now as you're watching this video. So be sure to check out the link in the description, twitch.tv forward slash silverbeanie. Be sure to come check us out. It'd be great to see you. Thank you all for watching. Till the next one, I'm Silverbeanie, and I'll catch you next time.